Anong nang mga nalamian mo nga nga ginahimo sa Adawadlaw? Ubra. Ubra? Ubra ka na? Anong naubra mo? Hilamon. Hilamon? Anong hilamon ka na? Pila ka palang gani? Six? Six. Famine. Thirst. Nomadic. These are only three out of the numerous ramifications brought by poverty. It has many facet issues that has been a consistent problem throughout history. One can be poor in many ways. In health, in dress, in thought, and in outlook. But poverty is usually to mean the state of being economically poor. People inclined to impoverishment suffer from pain. It attacks a person not only materially, but also morally, eating away at one's dignity and driving one into total despair. Let us take a broader look at this problem and let us all hark to the cries of the unheard. Beyond the boundaries of the historical past, humans have already evolved. However, humans still have not solved one of the Earth's major societal problems, poverty. It has many faces, changing from place to place and across time, and has been described in many ways. Most often, poverty is a situation where people want to escape. So poverty is a call to action for the poor and wealthy alike. It is a call to change the world, so that many more may have enough to eat. To have an adequate shelter, access to education and health, protection from violence, and a voice regarding to the situation of their communities. Despite the multitude of definitions, one thing is certain. Poverty is a complex societal issue. In the Philippines, it is a virus that keeps on circulating that might never cease. Money as a currency has become the prevalent standard of defining one's socio-economic status. In light of this, financial instability is a drawback faced by most Filipinos. Without money, you cannot do what you want. Without money, it is impossible to buy your needs and wants. Without money, you will be deprived of commodities. Hunger spreads with poverty. Death is the end product. Albeit the Philippines was considered as one of the tourist destination countries, our country is not immune to it either. And we are blind with the truth. Budaya kay tigado. Tigadong pangita, tigadong income. Ang pagpangabuhi sa Pilipinas, budlay-budlay, gait ko ang mga parasyon ni wala ka ubra abla. Subong niya, tigado, gikitama, kidamo mga pa, wala mga ubra, amula na. Mas budlay ka pag isabong, kaya nagtaas ang bugas. Kung basihan tang pinakamudlay ng pagkabuhi, mas mabudlay kitang subong ngayon ng mga tinuhin. Tungkol siyang mahal ang tanan, mahal ang bugas, mahal ang gasolina, tungkol pa siyang mga dilatas na nagmahal, mga pagkaunta, pamasahe naman, wala gasaka, muna nga kapat siya gamit siyang pamigado. Kasi kung damo ka pa sa laguron, hindi ka na halos kapat siya ng kabataan. In 2015, some 22 million Filipinos, more than one-fifth of the population, still live below the national poverty line. Constraints to achieving faster poverty reduction, according to the report, includes the less pro-poor pattern of growth, high quality of income and opportunities, and the adverse impacts of natural disasters and conflict. Poverty has devastated numerous people. One of these persons who can give a testimony is Liseria Putong. 67. Experienced the drastic mischief caused by poverty and has been in the labor force since at the age of 11. Fishing was her only way of sustaining herself and to help her parents. Ang ubra ko sang una, sang bata pa ko, gaidad pa lang ko un si Anyos. Ang ubra ko sa baybay, pangita ko, nagapanawayang adlaw gabi, amuna akong ubra, hasta naghamtong ko nga nagdalaga. Amo na akong pangita sa baybay. 
aside from fishing. She has also explored other means of earning, and when she was asked regarding the difficulty of her work, her response was, I Married at 20, however, not gifted with a child, she fostered a niece and a nephew when she was widowed. Currently, she makes a listing thing and sells them for 10 pesos each as her source of income. Despite her experiences, she continues to have a positive outlook in life, an embodiment of a person having the true Filipino spirit, and never fails to always plant a smile on her lips. As we continue to unfold the drawbacks of poverty, we now find ourselves in the city of Himamailan and will get to know Mrs. Filomena Moreno. She is unique as her name, having an idiosyncratic and heartwarming story with her. Lola Filomena, who claims herself to be 80 years old, however contrasted by his son that she is already in her 90s according to her marriage contract, was a mother of 11, with six of them still alive. With the old age of her soul case, moving will cost her too much energy. Nevertheless, she is myopic. She has been living in a small and a near to ramshackle house made of used and rusty galvanized corrugated steel roofs tied together by plastic ropes and some old plywood for approximately 50 years and is currently the guardian of her granddaughter. So, bali, ikaw ang gaan? Ako, ako, ako ang nagkuhan sa iya. Nagsagod? Sagod. Na may panas siya. Tinga din ang iya mga ano? Kaya ang iya iloy, timpra nung nabunghat. May guwiter siya diriho, daw baklawan goro siyang bata. Si damang istorya sa akon ang iya guwiter. Wala nagdako sa guwa ko niya sa sulod. Kaya mo itong kinamatsyan goro niya eh. Raising her granddaughter with her age is not easy for her part. Most of the time, she loans from other people for their commodities. Ay, ginapadalaan siya sa iya amay eh, kaya to sa Manila. So, bali... Bilang din sa akop lang ko. Tapos nang gawbara man na sa talabahan, amun na eh, nag-ano sa akon. Duwa kami nga daan. Hunger and thirst is almost like a day-to-day -day circumstance for her. Nang ga o tang ako to big jury tagi sa ka container bala tag ano may saka naman tag kator sina sa primero ina tresi lang ang gininom na to big oo pipila na siya ka dlaw din kasi nagsi niya mga tatlo ka dlaw mga tatlo lang ka dlaw tapos ma sunod naman niya dlaw sunod naman ma kwa naman ko eh tapos mga yo ka ang mao tang naman ko mga yo naman ko to sa akon anak sa wayang Kuno ay kay mo hindi ka giliya kakao niya. Hindi ka gi kakao niya. Muna ko kay sa gani ko nagakaa ko nga wala sod ana. Nga tulolo mang luha ko. As a mother, she also yearns for the affection of her children. But unfortunately, time and negligence stole it from her. 
Even a single call is intermittent. Why? Why na sila bubisita? Kapi na ba na sa Manila nga bahay ko? Kapi sa kapi? Why? Why ganito po pa dala? Na wala na gikadumdum ba na sila? Basi bala? Kung basi na atak, ano bala sila? Lola Filomena is a woman who had already experienced nights with an empty stomach, times of dehydration, and a feeling of being unwanted and forgotten. Aside from being physically exhausted, she is also emotionally drained. Hence, she may experience these now, but surely someday she will attain the bliss that she certainly deserves. Nevertheless, at the current state of the world, maybe there's no possible cure for poverty. Unfortunately, its effects are widely seen most especially in the poor parts of the world, where families can hardly eat three times a day, where parents fail to send their children to school, where crime is a work and not a sin anymore, where people see drugs as an escape for life. These effects of poverty continue to grow at a rapid rate, and as of the present, there are about 25,000 people that die every day due to poverty and hunger. According to the United Nations, one person dies every three and a half seconds. Unfortunately, it is children who suffer and die most often. Nonetheless, even if we cannot find the right answer for poverty today, but if we will start taking actions and be responsible of our role as an individual, maybe at least we can give voice to these persons in need. To give justice for their situation because if we deprive them from their rights, we can lead them to think that their justice is denied. And if justice is denied, poverty is enforced. Where ignorance prevails and people start to believe that this society is an organization to oppress poor ones. But if we give them their needs that will lift them up from their current situation, maybe poverty will vanish later on. Not in our era, but for the people beyond today. Poverty. 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 ang nagakinanglan. sa inyo nga bulig. Buligi ang nagakinanglan. Buligi ang mga nagakinanglan. Buligi ang naga Poverty is a disease that every one of us may get. But there is a medicine for this disease, and that is change not just with the economy, but within the perspectives of people. We dream of a moment where we will learn how to wash a child's tear help the elderly to survive with no worries, and poverty to surcease. Perhaps now is the time for us to hear the cries of those we have turned a deaf ear to.